How you guys doing? I'm back again, and it's gonna be a little different, um, of what I normally do, my little let's plays and whatever, but I want to do it like a, an uh, instructional video of something, um, I've been doing for years, but I realized, well, you can do it on the phone, um, now doing upon this, as you may see, it's called ROM Patcher, um, you go into Google Play, this is by far the best one I found. Simple. Type it in. Has that symbol in the corner there. You'll see it on the desktop in a minute, but <coughs> that's <coughs> one of the best ones I found. Uh <coughs> excuse me. I just did uh Conquer's High Tales. I got that working. I can't get Mario Kart 8 working for some reason. Um, I may have to change something or go back into the site. But um, this time around, I want to do... Uh, it's called Mega Man's 29th Anniversary. And what it deals with is it changes Super Mario World into play as Mega Man. Instead of Mario. And then there's like little bosses at the end, you know. You don't have, uh, the Koopa Kids, you have, like, I don't know exactly who, but figuring, um, Rock, or Snake Man, Cut Man, Ice Man, you know, etc. And I presume you fight Dr. Wily at the end, but. I had to check it out, but, um, I just want to show how to do it, uh, what you do for, you get the actual ROM of the game that you're looking for, so I'm going into my files here, and I'm getting Super Mario World, I do have a lot in here, so bear with me, um, the 64 ones did not work for some reason, just want to note, on the phone, I'm presume they probably work on a PC. I don't have one. I haven't tested one out yet, so kind of restricted to just uh, mobile right now, but this has worked for Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis as well. Um, what you do is you grab your ROM. Alright, we've got Super Mario World here. Just a heads up, certain ones, you may have to change the header or something like that. So you like that explanation point, you might delete that and delete the U. There's different ways to do everything so we got that the main ROM and then we go into go back into my file here folder all right now see this is IPS you grab the IPS file which is like the cover art. and this uh, nice little one here you can change it to whatever I mean I'm just going to aptly title it, so it's easier to find. Sure, simple. Alright, so you hit patch, it's patching around. Some are quick, some take a little while. Alright, so I'm going to go back. As you can see right there in the corner, the top there, uh, ROM pad here. This is what you look for. Simple, easy. I'm going to go into my emulator here. And I'm already set right to my folder I'm looking for. Click the file. I hope it pray it works. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. Like I said, it... This one may not work. I may not have the appropriate version of Super Mario World I'm using. I mean, there's, there is different versions to this, believe it or not, in the ROM files. Um, Nintendo, you know, made different versions as well. So, okay, that. Let's see if I can get something going here. Not hearing anything, seeing anything. Well, like I said, the dud. I have to go back into it and see what I did wrong. But 
I can show something here. Now, this right here is an RA complete. Like, I did not have to do, a, you know, anything to it. Just go right, type it in, it's right there. Sometimes you get lucky. Show an example of this here. Because, uh, I was saw this uh, randomly in a website and I'm like, huh? So I had to check it out. Right. So yeah, that, this is one example. already one done, but what I did, um, okay, what I did for this one, like I did the Hyrule Tale, I took Ledger's of the Past, and I took the um, Conqueror's Hyrule Tale, the IPS file, changed it, and here we go with The text in this game is pretty long. You get nerve wracking. But I just want to show something off in this game. Really cool. Alright, see, so yeah, I'm in the link to the past. I got stuck in a circle here. Alright. Uh, what I was seeing way before this was essentially um, Zelda 1. Alright. Oh, the white rabbit. Yeah. See, Gagger's Hightails Pretty crazy, I see. Do a gameplay of this as well. Essentially, I have to probably catch this thing. Trying to hold this phone in one hand, trying to play the controller in another hand, it gets a little tough here. How come I was able to fix that up when um, the character's not running, which is weird. Alright, sometimes they can get glitchy, I'm not going to lie. Really glitchy, you got to be careful. Um, it sucks, I'm trying to run, pressing all sorts of buttons, and not getting anything. Um, if you notice, like, kind of a speed thing here, that's because I'm pressing forward and back on the turbos. And, yeah, I'm getting nowhere. Kind of sucks. It was a tutorial, but that was for the, um... Multiplayer? Or no, I think it was Mario Kart. Excuse me. Mario Kart 8, they did nicely with the ROM hack on them. They added multiplayer into it. So, after this game, I have a quick left. I don't want to sit too long in the video, but... Alright, you guys gotta get the hymn now. Um, 